First five minutes done, literally push myself to like breaking point. Manage 50 pull ups, 50 burpees, and then one extra burpee, so 10 rounds. Five minutes rest, then on to the next one. It shouldn't be too taxing like this one, just the burpees and my engine. <sighs> Sweating. What is going on guys? It is now 10 a.m. in the morning. Um, we've just got back, I just did a couple of early clients, went in, did a couple of early clients, and now I'm back. But I don't know if I'm gonna train today, because basically what I did was, you know the little clip where you pull out to alter the bench? For some reason I pulled the clip and like my shoulder just twinged, and then after that I was trying to like give my client the four kg dumbbells and I couldn't even do that, so I might take the day off just to let it kind of recover. But anyway, we're cooking up some bacon and everybody knows that bacon is amazing. Bacon is the best thing in the world. The smell of it, you know, it can wake you up in the morning. The smell can literally wake you up in the morning. Uh, and the good thing about them is that they're only 0.7 grams of fat, no carbs, 7.1 grams of protein per strip. So you can't go wrong with that either. Here's a question for everyone. Are you a brown sauce kind of guy or girl or are you a HP sauce kind of guy or girl on a bacon sandwich? I am a HP sauce person. So is my dad. So I've just put four turkey rashes on here. Not turkey, bacon rashes. Gives me around 30 grams of protein. But I'm going to just add a little bit of HP sauce because brown sauce is amazing on bacon sandwiches, red sauce on sausage sandwiches, and red sauce with chips. She knows it's treat time. We're outside. Where is she? There she is. Pop it open. Oh. Hey Pip, you know what time it is? What time is it Pip? It's treat time, isn't it? <laughs> What's this, hurt? Nope. <laughs> oh. Sit, go down. Oh, there you go. What's going on team? So it's 12 o'clock now, midday, and we're training at half 12 with Miles again. Just gonna do a back workout as yesterday I did take the day off because of my shoulder. But basically we're just snacking on some of these mini crisps. These things are dangerous. I mean, they're really, really nice. You pull them out and they're crunchy and they're amazing. But um, yeah, I end up going through like a whole pack in a day. And the servings, per 40 gram serving, you are looking at 1.6 grams of fat, 28 grams of carbs and 3.8 grams of protein. So they're not the best, but they're okay for a pre-workout snack. They're not too heavy. I hate eating like heavy stuff before a workout. So a couple of handfuls of that and I'm on my way. But yeah, we're gonna go train back. My shoulder, even like now holding the camera up, is a bit dodgy. So I'm staying away from any pressing movements. It was meant to be chest today, but it's <laughs> not gonna happen. So just switching it up a little bit and gonna go hit some back. What is going on team? So we are back with another commentary and I'm back up to 200 pounds. The food is going in a lot better. Training is a lot stronger. But as you saw yesterday, I did take the day off. And in this video, I didn't wanna just commentate about the workout. I just wanted to commentate about something a little different because I obviously made this channel to try and give out advice to a lot of people that are in the gym. And that is kind of the main aim with this channel. So today I just wanted to talk about trusting your gut. And you've probably heard of trusting your gut. And I believe it's actually really, really good advice. But it's kind of the thing, and it may sound stupid to say, how do you know that your gut is talking? And 
You know, like when your foot's hurt, you, you'll usually pick it up and give it a squeeze. Or when your stomach aches, you usually rest your hands on your stomach. Or when you're unsure of what to say or what to do at work or what to create, you usually just take a step back, take a deep breath and relax and just feel it. And these things, guys, you don't think about it. You just do it. And yesterday, I just took the day off. It's like my body had already decided. I didn't even think about taking the day off. My shoulder was twinging and I didn't even think about training all day. I literally just took it off. And sometimes for a lot of people, including myself, I know it's hard to take a day off, you know? You think that you're taking one step backwards, you know, when sometimes you're actually taking that one step back to take two steps forward. And the reason why you should listen to your body sometimes is because your body is acting that way and feeling that way for a reason. And yesterday, because my shoulder was hurting, it's probably just because it may have been twinged and overtrained and I didn't want to go in and hit a chest session when <laughs> chest involves a lot of shoulder movement so I kind of just listened to my body and took that day off and you know the next day I went and did back I know I should have done chest but you're seeing the back session that I went and did and I went and did it light guys so I took a couple of days because it still didn't feel a hundred percent so we went pretty light with this really nice squeeze on these uh, exercises good one second two second hold at the bottom and just really concentrating on the movement and actually I got a really 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 solid pump and a really solid workout in so it's good just to switch up your training every once in a while not to go super heavy every single time but just to sometimes actually feel the contraction and feel the muscle working rather than just shifting some weight but there's a little back shot progress uh, coming up in the video so stay tight for that and definitely give the video a thumbs up if this helps I do try and just give out as much advice as I can to help you guys out and I hope it does really help you know I'm, I'm trying my best with these videos so uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video how many was that? Six. Yeah, you got four more then. Music, do mics, I've been dreaming lucid. Truth is really hate to do this, but I'm screaming, fuck you, Cupid. How you doing? Trying to start a movement. Why you stalling me? Shot the wrong arrow, keep my heart on. What's going on, guys? So if this offer is still active on this video, head over to shop.moosegooley.com. BCAA is now only like £5.69, £7.17, or for the 811s. They're only £6.97, which is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I know they're my sponsors and whatnot, and they do do, like, really good products. But that price, I just had to put it out here on the video and just head over. There are a couple of links as well, so if you want... If you spend over £50, then Team Richie 5, all in capitals. Or if you spend over £100, Team Richie 10, and... Well, €100, Euros, then that will save you a little bit more money again. So, that is a big heads up. A huge heads up. What is going on team? So I have something to share with you. I was going through my old Facebook photos and they are ridiculous. Like my Facebook photos are just stupid. But I'll put up on the screen now just a couple of photos. This is what I used to look like when I skated. I know you came to see. Wow. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I found that and I was like, oh my god. But I was thinking for like a transformation video, you know? So I was thinking like if if you guys are interested, comment down below. If you are, and I will do like a timeline of like when I used to skate <laughs> and have really long hair and pull loads of chicks, no, not a chance, um, to now, you know, which is, I started lifting maybe when I was like, I, I mean, I've only been lifting about a year and a half, two years, maximum. But if you want a timeline, then comment down below and, um, I'll put that in the next video. But anyway, um, I'm just going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Because uh, I, I try to make the videos as, like, if I wanted to watch them, say, like, because I watch a lot of Christian Guzman, Max Tuning, Nick Wright, even though he's, I don't know what Nick Wright's done. He said he's, like, quit YouTube for a while. I was like, ah! Um, Mark Fit, you know, Humorous Fitness, Rob Lipset. I watch too many people. <laughs> but anyway, I watch all kind of those. So I try and make them as watchable as I would want to watch them, you know. So I hope you do enjoy them. Do give them a thumbs up if you do enjoy them. It does really help the channel and I, I really appreciate it when you do. Like I really, really do. And uh, I thank you for watching and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And we will see you in the next one. We will see you in the next one. Nearly had you there. I nearly had myself. <laughs>